Okay, so hey guys and welcome back to another Axis 72 video and in today's video I'm back with another interview. I'm here with Levi Walker-Brown. Levi, how are we? Yeah, I'm all good, man. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming on the channel, mate. And uh, so am I right in saying you're a professional boxer who's just turning over now? Yeah, yeah, I've just uh, signed over. Great. And so Debut from Yes, and so if you are new around here and you have subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do need like the video, and let's get straight into it. So, I'm going to start off with a question which you always like to start off with. Why did you start boxing? Oh, so it's, it's just in the blood. It's, it's scripted in the DNA. Mm -hmm. So, like, my dad, he was a professional boxer. My brother, oh. he's currently a professional boxer. So, now, so it was just about time I'd said to, to go over. Mm, indeed, indeed. That's very interesting. And uh, so, do you remember what happened in your first amateur fight? My first one? Oh, that was uh, one of the late late calls. So, my opponents uh, already were... He already set up a fight, and his opponent pulled out. Mm -hmm. So uh, our coach got um, one of them last minute calls, mm -hmm. say, "Oh, do, have you got a fighter who's not uh, competed yet? Uh, this way, that way." We were like, "Yeah, that's fine." Looked at me, went, "Oh, Levi, doing a fight Thursday?" So I'm like, "Yeah." But uh, it was like since it was short notice, I had no fans there, no friends. They couldn't oh, make right. it in time. Hardly my fam my family couldn't make it. Mm. It were me, my dad, one of my friends, and his dad. And obviously the Matuma coaches for the corner side mm. went all over. All you got that hype, you're excited for your first fight, and I won by TKO. Okay. First, uh, the second round, first twenty seconds in. Okay, wow, that's that's a very strange story, but very good, I suppose, for you. And um, so, I suppose you wanted to keep that run going. And so, what would you say was your biggest achievement from the amateurs? Biggest achievement, um, oh. To travel, like we went to Ireland, uh, fought up in Cork, mm -hmm. and that was amazing to do it. Like just to go out there to show what I'm capable of. Mm. Okay, no, that's great. Uh, and so, how many amateur fights did you end up having? Uh, compared to others, I've not had that many. I had like uh, 21, 22. Okay, okay, no, not a crazy amount. But why have you decided now to turn over? Oh, so. Again, it's all people saying I'm rushing, but I'm not. I feel I feel like the the way I train, the dedication I put in, everything right now is the perfect timing mm -hmm. for it all. Mm -hmm. mm, no, definitely, definitely. And so, how excited are you in general to get started on the professional side of things? Well, we all we've been kickstarting it for a while now, mm -hmm. so the training is amazing. It's completely different to the amateurs. Mm. The dedication you've got to put in, the hard work, it's amazing. Like to, to go to different gyms to spar with other professionals who, who want the same goal as you, it's it's fun. It's it's a different lifestyle now. Mm. Mm. And to, like, to step in that ring for the first time as a professional is going to be amazing. Yes, I'm sure it is. And uh, so what would you say go, going into the professional side of things now is your main motivation? The main motivation would be Ooh, I got with this. I got different mm -hmm. like lines for it. But one of them like is to like just to get myself out there. Like just it's hard to word it. Is this no, of course. to become just become one of like the world's best? Like yeah. to I see these other world champions the from previous ones to current ones, and I'm just like I want that lifestyle. Yeah. This is this is what I'm wanting. Yeah, of course. And uh, so, do you have a possible date of when you might be having your debut? So currently, it's not a date yet. Okay. But we're looking um, possibly June, August, pushing September. Okay. Around cool. about then. Okay, and so I mean, you want to have quite a while to get preparations all ready for that then. Yeah. yeah. So currently, we've got. Um, We've got uh, some complications, but not complications, just more stuff to do with the, you know, the boxing board. Yep. They're wanting more um, test run, okay. just one more, and then we'll get that all sorted, and then we're out there, we're fighting. Mm. Okay, okay, now then you're getting going, and uh, so just yeah. for, yes, just for yourself as a fighter, what would you say makes yourself interesting as a fighter? I'm not, I'm different to mm. others, I like... When you look at all these other professional boxers, from the ones that are standing now to one of up and comings like me, yeah. all these debuters, 
you can look at them and they're like, oh, you rem- they remind you of um, a Floyd Mayweather. Mm-hmm. They remind you of a Canelo. The style's this. I'm different. Like, you can... I'm more... You can't put me... You can't place me as a junior. I'm not no junior to anyone. Mm-hmm. And I feel like with my style now, I'm like the new era, the new mm-hmm. set the new schedule, the new... This is it. You look at mine and you, you can't place your finger on another fighter. Wow, that sounds amazing, mate. And uh, so I suppose now you are turning over, and when you do start fighting, everything gets sorted and that kind of side of things. Are you going to be wanting to be quite active for, I suppose, the end of this year, the start of next year? As so, yeah, as soon as this medical, the board thing's done, mm. we're getting everything rolling, we're mm. kicking everything off. I'm active this year, the end of this year, to, one, to, to the start of next year, we're, we're getting everything sorted. Mm. Great, great. Like, we know where we want. Yes, of course. And so, I mean, you spoke about how you are looking for titles, but are you wanting to go down the kind of traditional route with titles or are you just going for anyone that I suppose comes available? We're off for any of them. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, we'll, the main, the ones that I want, I need to get the ones that I need first. Mm-hmm. So, I need to, like, step the ladders. Yep. So, whoever's got these little British titles, Commonwealth, mm-hmm. all these other ones, I'm coming to take. Okay. Just so I can show that I'm capable of going for these world titles. Mm. So, yeah. Okay, okay. That's very interesting. Good fight and talk. And uh, so, I suppose, just for yourself, I mean, we've basically touched on this already, but how far do you believe you can go? <laughs> all the way, mate. All the way. I can see myself being talked about. I want my name to be recognised. Mm-hmm. So, when people talk about boxing, I'm from the start, I'm wanting people saying, I'm one to watch. Yep. I'm a prospect. Mm-hmm. And then eventually, I'm one of the best. I'm wanting to take all the belts and become obviously unified, but great. take out it comes. Indeed, indeed. That's great. And uh, so I'll leave it with this final question, which I always like to ask. You've got a little bit of a platform here. Would you like to shout anything out? To all my sponsors. Mm-hmm. They've they've helped me from the start. Like they're, This is the start now, but I'm hoping that they carry on with me. But I want to say thank you to them. Thank you to my friends, family, my team. Because they've, or everyone's taking their little time or effort to mm. put into me. So yeah, mm. yeah, indeed, indeed. And so, thank you very much for doing this, mate. Maybe a little bit further along down the line, we can come back and have you back on the channel. I appreciate it, mate. Thank you, and of course, yeah, legend. Yeah, and yes. And so, if you're on your rant, yep, subscribe, please do so. Like if you're doing like it, and thanks for watching.